last minute as the borders were closing, my mother and I managed to escape uh, to Switzerland. And so I came back nine months later, you know, to find everybody gone. My father, our home, our grandparents, everybody. After I realized that all my family was gone, I was hoping and praying that he may still be alive. And so I went to look him up, and there he was. And, we, and there I was, and we were, he lost everybody, and I lost everybody. I had one uncle that remained, he had one aunt that remained alive. And so we were very um, uh, grateful to find each other. America was the promised land for people in Eastern Europe, devastated Eastern Europe, Holocaust survivors suffering under the communism. Coming to America was coming to the promised land. He never really dreamed that he would be going to Congress. That wasn't part of his, um, that wasn't part of our life plan. But then suddenly the man who represented our district, Leo Ryan in 78, had that terrible tragedy. And so my husband decided that he will give it a try. He was not very, much of a partisan person. To him, it wasn't a question of Republican or Democrats. To him, it was a question of communists or Nazis or the West. So he could never get very anxious and excited about party politics. You know, this was to him, it meant either democracy or communism or Nazism. These were the big options, you know, that he, and he was basically always fighting for democracy. And he felt, you know, that was the, core value of his existence. Human rights are indivisible. And whether the rights of individuals are violated in the Soviet Union or Iran or Cuba or South Africa or Tibet, it is our responsibility as Republicans and Democrats in a free legislative body to stand up and to speak out against these outrages. Publicity is one of the greatest defense against outrageous human rights violations because those who commit it think that they can do it in the dark. And when the, the light and the glare of publicity focuses on them, it acts as a tremendous restraint. Human rights leaders are one of the most valuable members of the human community. And many of them are pursuing their very important missions, unseen and unknown and unrewarded by the world. And so our, our goal is to bring these people to the attention of the world, to give them recognition, and to inspire young people to follow in their footsteps. If we want this world to be a better place, we have to see to it that everybody participates and everybody has an opportunity to a decent, 
decent way of life, decent to the life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. We have to promote that goal.